Hey guys, DrummanSF93 here with the Asus EPC900. I'm going to be showing you Windows 7 running on it. So let's boot it up. It's running Windows 7 Pro 32 bit. And on boot, it's using the No GUI boot, I think it's called. For whatever reason, it defaulted to that. So it looks like a Vista boot, but it's Windows 7. It boots up surprisingly quick, but it's running very little, so. If you were to throw a bunch of applications on here, first of all, it would slow down significantly because it would fill up the SSD very quickly, and obviously it would be more to load. It's running Windows 7 Pro. And it's 32-bit because this machine only has uh, 2 gigs of RAM, so 32-bit makes the most sense. Now, the reason I get this on boot is because I'm running... Um, I think these are for the IGFX tray. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are for the graphics because I'm using Windows XP graphics drivers on Windows 7. Yeah, all right, whatever. Obviously, it does not have any support for arrow, so... N no arrow. But yeah, I had to go to a device manager and manually install the graphics drivers because it would not let me just install them normally. And, of course, they're probably a little buggy because their Windows XP graphics drivers. Yep, Windows 7 Pro Service Pack 1. You can see the specs. Intel Celeron M, 900 megahertz, 2 gigs of RAM. WI scores a whopping 1.0. Low score you can get. Yep, here's your WEI. It's the gaming graphics that drop it down to a 1.0. Processors a 1.7. RAM's a 4.0, which it's got 2 gigs of DDR2 RAM, so... That's to be expected. 1.9 for graphics, 1.0 for gaming graphics. Surprisingly, the hard hard disk scored 5.9. It says that little 16 gig SSD, but SSDs can go higher than 5.9, so this obviously is, I'd say it's a little slower than your standard 7200 RPM hard drive. So yeah, all I've really got on here is uh, Firefox and Windows. Oh, and the graphics driver, that's all I've installed. All the rest of the drivers seem to work. Windows like Windows 7 detected them. But here's how the C drive looks. It's pretty full already cuz we only have 16 gigs of storage. This is why I run Puppy Linux on here or some other Linux distro because Windows is just not the fastest. Here I can launch Firefox. We can go to my YouTube page. So, you know, it's pretty, it's not very fast at all. <laughs> but it does scroll through pages and stuff. Shut up. Um, yeah. Now, I guess we can watch the shutdown. So, yeah, that's about it. This is just to show you Windows 7 running on the Asus EPC 900. Probably come out with a few more videos with some different OSs running on here. Just to show you what this machine's capable of. So yep, thanks for watching.